this is Rob from Mims Models uh, this is my second update of this beautiful kit by Mini Arts which is the M3 Stuart uh, before we start like I say a big thank you to all my subscribers all your comments really do appreciate it so here in this update we're carrying on with the lower hull uh, we do quite a bit in this update we'll make a start on the engine as well and, and stuff like that ok so there's uh, <clears throat> three parts of this I'm gluing together really straightforward fits nice couple of little um, sprue nibs to take care of ok so there's a decal to go on this as well I'm gluing on so what I do, I'll paint it first, fit the decal, and then there's a little photo etch. Um, so like a little circle, photo etch circle that goes on the top. So I'll pa I've painted that first, and then I'll glue it on. Okay, so just off camera as well. Always dry fit. Just keep testing, make sure everything fits all right. Well, here I got it, got it right there. Okay. All right, so more parts now on the lower hull. This is a nice little assembly as well and it's got like um, a cushion effect on the top really really nice detail and you got some decals as well to go on and what I do before I um, cut them off the sprues I just write in pencil the numbers just so you don't get mixed up because some of the pieces do look the same and it does get quite difficult to remember which side which is which just make just makes life a bit easier there's plenty of um, locating pins and and that just to help you we're thinking again this kit I highly recommend it. It's a really nice kit by Mini Art. Really nice fit. Really detailed. And there's plenty of e extras. And as, as you go through the instructions as well, there's little um, scratch building you can do, like wiring and that. Just adds adds a bit of interest to it okay so again just dry fit I, I forgot there's a little bit of a sprue there uh, sprue nib I missed there so I'm just shaving it off with a knife Now I always like to try and hold my pieces with the tweezers. It just just makes it a bit easier. Okay, a tiny bit of glue. Okay. All I'm doing is just checking it's the right way up as well. Now they, you're looking at the top there, so there'll be a, a little, um, like I said, there's a little bit of a cushion to go on the top. Well, I do square once you put the the top piece on, it squares it all up. It's a bit flimsy at the moment, but well, once once I've got it all together I'll put more glue on then just to make sure it holds 
Okay, so now we're fitting the, the top piece on now. And there's the, and then there's like a little well, it looks like a little um canteen or something that goes on the side of it. But I find it easy as well. Um to fit these little parts. I check for I'll before I glue them on, I'll just check to make sure I can paint them while they're glued on. Because um I just find it easier. And if I can mask it easy enough, then I'll glue them on. If not, I'll paint them and then glue them on. Okay, so now that piece I've just built, gluing straight onto this base. And then there's another little piece that glues to the side of it. And all the ejector pin marks are all out of sight. You know, they're not in the way. They're all on this piece. I've just glued this on this onto. They're all underneath. I'm just gluing on now the little the little piece on the side. Now I'm not following the instructions. I do jump around the, the steps a little bit. Well, I like to try and get all my um, sub-assemblies built for the interior first and I like to try and get them all painted so now we've got two of these as a left and a right uh, there's two three parts on each one now these are on the back where the end by the engine Okay, so again, I've just um, put little numbers on the pieces. Just so you don't get mixed up, this makes it a bit easier. Now I have um, actually done the painting pretty much now. So what I'll do, I'll do a separate update and to show the interior what I've done what I've used and then uh, the next update then will they'll be carrying on uh, working on the gluing the pieces together now. okay this piece I've glued on just make sure you get facing the right way because you can get it the wrong way Now these, um, it says to um, glue the actual bulkhead in first and then glue these to the back of it but I, I glue them now before I fit it. I just think it's easier as well. But when, what I do as well, I've got the sides cut off and then I'll put the glue this on and then while the glue's still wet, put the sides on, put these in and it just makes sure it's all lined up and then leave it glued up, glued, um, leave it together then while the glue dries just makes life a bit easier there's little, um, little locating points really nice okay so all I'm showing at this stage now, the, it was just the bulkhead, but I've jumped forward to build these two bits, and then I just think it's easy now just to do it like that. Right, so now we're working on the first side piece. Really nice. There's little parts to glue on. And most of these are the same colour, which is the which is the white. But the parts, the parts that aren't, you can you got the option. You can either um, paintbrush them, or I, I try and anywhere possible, I try and mask off. 
you got ejector pin marks as well but I, I've taken care of the ones that you are going to see now on the top there there's two clear parts to fit there's one on each side so I'll, I'll paint it all first and then I'll, uh, I'll fit the clear parts after or also just um I always like to have my parts cut off and cleaned up ready I find you can get more done as well in an update and keep vid watching me clean parts and that if that's what you like to say I'll do that if if just let us know or I can carry on doing it as I'm doing Okay, so I don't know. I don't know what these parts are I'm gluing on. Well, again, there's little decals to put on some of these. Now, the front half is going to be white, and and then um, I think I've done. I did the back half green. Okay, so we're working now on the other side. There's one, two, three, four, five pieces plus the clear part. Well, as I said, I'll do that after. Okay, so really nice. But I have gone past a lot of the steps because there there's a lot of parts to fit on the outsides of these. But I, well, what I tend to do is um, glue it all together first. Because if I have to clamp it all up or put tape around it to hold it together, I can do that. But if you've got small pieces on the sides, it makes it a bit more tricky. And you've got a chance of breaking your parts off. And it's happened a few times at us. So just think think how you're gonna do it. You know, if I glue this piece on, is it gonna be in the way? And I'll just find it easy as well, just to glue them on after. But I like to go through the instructions and uh all the interior parts, all the little assemblies, get them all done. And then you can paint them in one go then. Well, where I'm gluing this piece now, that's where the clear parts go, where that little hole is. It's just below this piece. There you can see the hole, and that's where your clear part goes. Right now we're making a start on the engine. Now I don't show you every step because there's just too many parts. Well, all I can say is the fit's beautiful. Just these, you just got to make sure you get these in the right order. So study your your drawing, your diagram, just to make sure because you can get them in the wrong order. And I do. I don't glue all the engine together. I do it in little assemblies because they're all there's different colours. Okay, so it's still a few parts to glue. There's actually I'll just count them now. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 steps to do the engine. 
Now they, the engine in the last update I done for the trumpeter, the one sixteenth. If you haven't seen that, just go back and have a look. It's the video before this one, and the whole of the update was the engine. It is a really nice, a nice end kit to build. Is a kit on its own. This is nice as well. Or you go watch um, some of the parts when you cut them off. They're really delicate with the clean up. So all I'd, I'd just make sure I got a really nice sharp knife, and then it just you know it just makes it a little bit easier. Some parts as well you can glue on, and then clean them in position. What you got to do just try and make it a bit easy for yourself. Well, look at that for a detail. Beautiful. Okay, so still working on the engine. Well, what I'll do um, when I do the actual up update showing you everything painted, I'll, I'll give you a more better look at the engine. I don't glue that on because that's that's a different colour. I'm I'm just making sure as well you get this the right way. Right. Really nice. That's got an ejector pin mark on, but it's not going to interfere with the fit. Now that piece I'll leave loose, because that's a different colour. Really beautiful detail. Right, so off. I don't show you the rest of the engine. Uh, there's just too many. There's just too many little parts. Right now, this piece now is the back. The back of the tank now. The piece I'm fitting on now. That's the top. And there's two doors to go on this, and you got the option. Then you can have them open or closed. Right, I've I've gone for the open position because yeah, you you really want to show as much of the detail off as you can. I mean, you, this kit you can really go to town because there's a lot of a lot of uh, hatches and that you can have open. Also, I'm working on a way of leaving the top loose and a couple of the like the the panel above the engine and the front panel loose. So I can just pull it off and show the detail. It really is a lovely, lovely detailed kit. Right, so just working on a bit of photo etch now. This is this is one of the doors. Um enough. There's three little owls. As well, all you gotta do, is make sure you got it the right way up. There's a bit of photo etch, and there's a little handle to fit. But I only show you the one door because the the other door, there's nothing. There's only a handle to glue on. That's just normal, normal glue, pound shop glue. It will stick in a minute. Okay. All right, just fit in the handle now. Two little holes. Um, no need to drill anything. They're all drilled ready. But as you go through your instructions, just 
keep an eye out because there are holes to drill and I, I I missed one hole but luckily it was all right because I, I drilled one but missed the other one next to it so I, mean, I had the one hole to help me locate it and some of the steps it's quite confusing how the parts fit and I find as well the best thing to do is um, go forward a few steps in the instructions and then you might find it a bit later on in, in the build and it gives you an idea then how it goes I'll glue this on let it dry and then I'll sand that off right now we're working on the first gun there's three there's three guns this is the the first one and then there's two separate ones this is a beautiful fit as well no I had no problems no issues I just hope you can see it alright because it it is really fiddly to try and get these little little parts into into the cat like into view and the camera without your fingers or your hands getting in the way. There's a little bit of clean up to do. Once it's dry uh, I'll just run the sanding stick around the edges. I like to squeeze the parts a little bit so some of the glue oozes out and then when you sanded it then it there's no need to fill in because it's already done I know I keep saying it but I am going to do a video of how I paint stuff and what I use and that Okay, so two, there's just a little piece. The one piece is already on on the main gun. You just glue this piece to it. You've even got a little bit of um, rounds as well. You'll see. I'll show you in a minute when it glues it on. I'm just making sure it's squared up. Okay, so there you can just make the rounds out. Well, that's it finished. Now that will go on the front. And then you got two on the sides then. Right, now this is the front panel. Um, that hole there is where the gun goes through. This is a little um, instrument panel I'm gluing on here. So it'll only go one way. And it's all um, painted the off-white as well. And then you've got four or five decals to put on this. And the good thing is as well, if you leave the hatch open, you can actually see it as well, which is nice. The decals really liven it up. And what you could do as well, I've, I've done in the past, is got some um, gloss and just put a little bit of gloss on top of the decals and it just makes it look like it's got a bit of a dial, like a dial to it. A bit of, not a dial, a bit of glass, like when it dries. So you've got two options on that piece, having the doors open or the door shut. Right now you're looking at the underneath now, and this is that gun I've just built. That's where that fits into. Now the, it was a bit tight. The gun was, but all I did, I just got a drill and just opened the hole a little bit. It wasn't small. It like there might have been a bit of um, a bit of uh, what's the name in there. bit of plastic or something I'm 
Hi, so. This is now, um, I've got two, two of these. There's two, um, this is the other two guns I'm working on now. Uh, you've got three parts on these. And then these are like the, the rounds, the little, um, where the rounds go in. So, really nice. I'm just making sure they're square. You've got three parts as well on this. Now these, um are a different these are a different colour so I'll just paint these first and then fit them. Right. So this is um part two. Um hope you enjoy what you see and if you like what you see um please hit that subscribe button and there's plenty more details to come. And there's an update of the King Tiger coming very soon. So, thank you all, and I'll catch you in the next update. Thank you.